Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I just got scheduled for standby tomorrow. I it's scheduled for 11:15, but I think what I'm gonna do is switch with someone and do the first standby that starts at 4:05. And I'll take the 10 o'clock flight from Chicago to Philadelphia, get in at 1 o'clock a.m. in Philadelphia, and then I'll just sleep at the airport. And then hopefully don't get called because I'm not trying to work. Tomorrow, I'm thinking about going to um, a 76ers game and tailgating, and that's at 1, so I want it to be off by 10. So let's hope. I don't get called and I can get to go have some fun. So the last time I talked to you, I was at home. I took the 10 o'clock flight in to Philadelphia from Chicago. I had gotten scheduled airport standby for 11.15, but in my head, I would have flown back to Philadelphia tonight and then taken an Uber home from the airport and then Ubered back tomorrow. And then if I don't get called Uber again, I mean, I could have taken a flight tomorrow from... Chicago to Philadelphia before my standby, but tomorrow Chicago is supposed to get really bad weather. I didn't really want to risk it. So I flew in tonight, switched with a girl for her 4.05 a.m. standby. So I just got in, it's like I said, one o'clock. And now I'm on the 4 a.m. shift and she took the 11.15. Thank God, it was so nice that she was willing to switch with me. Now I'm just washing my face and brushing my teeth and I'm going to sleep in the crew. At the moment I have all my stuff sprawled out, just did my skincare and I know it seems super silly that I'm even like brushing my teeth and washing my face I'm just not that tired if I was exhausted like I'm sure most commuters are I, I probably wouldn't be doing this okay. <sighs> my mom and I stopped at um the store or Von Mar on the way to the airport and they got these cute shoes from Steve Madden. These were only like 50 bucks, which I know $50 is a lot, but for a pair of Steve Maddens, I feel like that's a good price. <laughs> blanket off the plane to sleep with. Now I'm gonna go and try and catch some Z's. I am on call at 4.05 so I need to set an alarm to wake up at 4 to check in for my standby shift and then I'm setting another alarm for 9.45 because um, I'm done at 10. If I don't get called I feel like I might get called um, just because I made plans for later today and if you guys are flight attendants you know whenever you make plans you're just getting called. Oh my gosh, it's 5 30. We got called. That's where we're going. Chicago! Ugh, I was in the middle of sleep. 5 30 in the morning. They are using me as um, just boarding right now. We'll see if we actually work this. I feel like we're, we're working it. It's just our luck. Yucky weather in Chicago. My makeup on that last flight and we went from Philly to Chicago on, we're switching planes, so we went there on an Airbus 321 and then now we're in Chicago and we're going to Orlando and we just switched to a 7-3. This is the 7-3 with the pretty lighting. We have a 17 hour layover in Orlando. This trip really isn't that bad. I'm just 
was pretty tired because I only got like two hours of sleep. But the last night was good. We had um, a bunch of kids on our flight going on a school trip. And now this flight should only be about two hours and 15 minutes, Chicago to Orlando. And we have a nice long layover so I can sleep. So here's the galley of the 7-3. It's really fun. Get all these fun, oops, fun latches. Lots of this going on. So. Yeah, I'm the B position, so I get to be in that galley, prime, so I am exhausted and it's my favorite position, so I just set up the cards for now, before we take off, and easy peasy. Welcome to Orlando. I feel like I was just here when I was getting my nephew's um, birthday presents. I'm pretty sure I was. The crew, I think, is going to Disney Springs and I'm going to go with them. I think my blush is gold one tons. Hopefully, I have a pair of sandals, some Birkenstocks, yoga pants. Then I have this sweatshirt and I have a turtleneck. So... Ah, good, good, good. Um, I'm hoping I can find a t-shirt while we're out. And I didn't bring a purse, so I can't bring my vlogging camera. And I can barely bring my wallet. I'm just going to bring, like, one card. So, not really prepared. I'm going to try and take as many videos as I can on my phone. But I have problems with enough storage on my phone, so there's that. I don't have sunglasses. I really have nothing that's going to help me at this point. But they're a really nice crew. Um, a lot of, most of us are younger and we're like in the same class range. I'm 1802, someone from 1801 and 1805. So, should be a good time. One of them used to work at Disney. So, I feel like they'll show us around. And we have 17 hours here, so it's going to be a good time. Before I say bye, I'm going to show you guys the hotel room really quick. I was just here, so this hotel room is not really new to me. I have the bathroom. And then you have two beds, which I'm pumped about. A fridge, TV, and then the grand view. Aww. <laughs> okay, that's where I used to work at. got back to the hotel sorry for not vlogging more I told you guys I only had really this it was so hot it was so stinking hot I got I bought a t-shirt from um, this store Uniqlo bought a gray t-shirt because it was just so dang hot and I was kind of dying um, so it was just I like shot one clip I think and then I gave up because there were so many dang people and I just kept my phone in my bag most of the time. So it was just, I didn't even. We walked around, we went around a few shops, just kind of explored. I forgot that I had been there before a few years ago when I was in college with my mom and one of my ex-boyfriends. We went there. So it was familiar. It was fun. I'm just, I'm so tired. I was, one of the girls is going down to the pool um, to just like dip her feet in and I was going to go meet her, but I'm just so tired. So I got, right when I got back, I just, I was like, I need a shower. I feel gross, you know, being at the theme parks and I couldn't find dry shampoo. I didn't really look, but I didn't find any, like I didn't come across it. So I was like, I should probably wash my hair and our van time tomorrow morning is at 4.55 in the morning. So I'm going to bed early. I am very proud of myself for getting out of the hotel room though and exploring on like literally no rest, but I'm pooped. So the rest of the evening, I just plan on making some dinner, unwinding, going to bed early. I really wanna make sure I get eight or nine hours in. Um, I did a video, I need to put a video up. Maybe watch some TV, just relax. I'm just I'm tired. And the day that I get done with this trip is the day I'm going to Iowa, so. I'm literally, my plan is, when I land, to run back to my apartment and then run back to the airport. I know it's a lot, but I just, 
I was trying to think of how I could make it work with what I have, but I just have too much stuff with me. I don't have the stuff that I need. It's a hassle, I know, but I just, I just, I don't want to be lugging all of this around, you know? So, I haven't been to my apartment in over a week, I feel, I think, yeah. By the time I get there, it'll be over a week. So, I just feel like I really need you back there. So, I'm going to use my Hot Logic Mini for the first time, and I'm pumped. I'll show you guys how it works. So, I'm going to try using this for the first time. I just plugged it in, and it's supposed to get hot. So, I have some mixed veggies and chicken in here, and I just put it on here, and... It'll heat it up. So I'm gonna close that, set a timer for 10, 15 minutes and see if it feels any warmer. Doing different things or whatever, going back and forth and I was creating thumbnails. What I finally realized. It cooked the food so well. Yes, I'm eating out of tin foil and yes, I'm using plastic silverware. But it cooked it so well, it's cooked through. That thing is amazing. I'm such an early van. I'm just going to eat this and then I'm going to hit the hay. I'm pretty tired. Um, and we have 4.55 vans, so I'm waking up at 4.15. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. So I Hey guys, good morning. So it is 4.41 a.m. I'm getting ready to head downstairs. I decided to skip the makeup today. I was having trouble sleeping last night and I'm just, I'm tired. Um... We have two long flights today, so I figured I had time to do it on the flight. Um, tip. These, I have tried so many eye drops. I've never seen anything work so well um, for making your eyeballs pure white. So these are by the brand Lumify. They just look like this. You guys might have seen commercials about it, but it make your, makes your eyes so bright white. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to pop some of those babies in. And then head downstairs. We are going straight from Orlando to JFK. JFK to Phoenix. And then we overnight in Phoenix. One of my girlfriends lives in Phoenix. So I think I'm going to meet up with her. I just need to make sure I'm not too tired. So I'm going to have to energize on coffee. Also was putting on my pantyhose this morning. They had a run in them. And then my second pair had a run in them. Usually I carry three to four. So I have backups for backups. And you know I just. I just didn't have them today. I'm gonna head downstairs. I need some coffee. I need to wake up. Just get this day started. Hey guys, we are in Arizona, Phoenix. Why can't I think of that? Got in here a little while ago. I am just exhausted. We had the flight. It was supposed to be five hours and some change. It ended up being like five hours and 40 minutes and we sat on the runway in JFK for so long because there was terrible weather. I'm so tired. Because <laughs> we went from Orlando to JFK, which is two and a half hours, then JFK to Phoenix, five hours and 40 minutes. That was a long, stinking day. Um, but we're in Phoenix now, and I was like, okay, awesome. I can sit by the pool, relax. Well... Guess what the weather is? It is 63 degrees. It is so cold here. I'm gonna have to wear my winter jacket. You, it's stunning. This is our new hotel. Our my airline switched hotels, and I kind of like the other one better, but you know, it's fine. And yeah, I am just heating up some food right now in my Hot Logic Mini. I'm obsessed with it. It is so good. And I just touched up my makeup. Look at this thing. My food is like, it's been sitting in here for like 20 minutes. Ooh, and those babies are warm. I just like flip them over though, just so that, you know, but those are good to go. I'm going to chow those down and then my girlfriend Kelly lives here. So I'm going to Uber to her house and see her new place. We're going to watch the Golden Globes, maybe go in the hot tub, just hang out. I'm ready to relax chill out, see my girlfriend. Perfect timing because I just feel like I need to be around people that I know and I just, I need to reconnect. So um, I'm going to go to her place. I'm going to Uber there. It's like 20 minutes away. It's not far at all, 
But let me show you guys this hotel room. I've already set up, so it's a complete disaster. Walk in, and to the left, we have the bathroom, a nice big mirror. How cute is this? You look smoking hot, but please don't smoke in our guest rooms. How cute. And then we have the bathroom. We have this nice long mirror. And we go to the bedroom, two double beds. Cute, right? And our grand view. We have a fridge down here. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go to my girlfriend's house. I'm gonna eat a little bit, eat a little bit before I go, just so that um, I'm sticking to my points. I've been really good on my points for Weight Watchers all week, so I should be good. And yeah, I'm excited to see them. I'm excited to see their new place. And tomorrow's van time is at 6:30. Sorry, this is a very unflattering angle. So our van time tomorrow is at 6:30 in the morning. And we just go from Phoenix to Philadelphia. And then I get to run to my apartment, switch out my stuff, go back to the airport, and fly to Des Moines tomorrow night. It's just been a crazy wild time, hasn't it? I'm exhausted. I'm running on fumes. But i got to keep it going, you know? back to my hotel room it is around 10 o'clock the Oscars oh, excuse me the Oscars were so good I had only I hadn't seen a lot of the movies I had actually only seen Bohemian Rhapsody and A Star is Born surprise that Star is Born didn't get as many awards if you guys haven't seen either of those movies they're both so good Literally two of the best movies that I've seen in such a long time. Mm. Goodness. Oh! God bless America. face wash tonight. I am using the Mario Badescu, the acne facial cleanser, really really good. Then I'll spray on some of this hydrating facial mist that I got from Barcelona. A little bit of my Becca Glow Elixir. Then I'll top it off with this cream that I got from Barcelona as well. I'll try and find this online and see if I can link it. Skincare for the evening. I know I just said I was gonna go to bed, but I forgot that they have a crew room here in the hotel on the fifth floor. And usually they have some really good fruit there. And since tomorrow's flight is gonna be like six hours, I'm running low on fruit. So I thought, sorry, my camera's off balance. I thought it would be a good idea to go check that out. Okay, so let's go check it out. I'm venturing out again. Oh, 
Nice. Oh wait, the pool's down here too. Let's find the pool. And I guess the crew room's on the lower lobby. Where the heck is the pool? Pool's outside, but it might be too dark. Oh, the pool's out here. They have bags. It would be really nice if it was warm out. They have bags. And then the crew lounge is on the lower lobby. No snacks, just coffee. Well, usually in these like crew room type things, they have snacks, at least like fruit and stuff, but that's all they have. Good morning. I'm going another day with no makeup. I just was thinking about how I'm gonna be on this flight for five hours. That makeup just like sinking into my skin. Not doing it. So it is around 6:20 right now. I got done early. So there's Starbucks downstairs. So I'm gonna go hit that up. Then we're gonna go straight to Philly. And then when I get home, I'm going to Des Moines. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in San Antonio. Reboot, I'm cold red, my service automated like data.